Hi everyone, it's Katie here. This video is meant for my staff colleagues, all of the employees of Woodland Hills School District, and of course our parents and guardians of our wonderful students. I know that this has been very trying times for us grown-ups, so I wanted to offer you something here. Um, I actually heard this meditation originally at my first yoga teacher training, and it really stuck with me over the years, so I want to read it to you now. So I'm I'm going to invite you to find a comfy place to sit, maybe even lie down, take a couple of deep breaths. In fact, why don't we do a couple all together? Inhale through your nose and then open your mouth and sigh it out. Good. Two more of those. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, sigh it out. One more. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, sigh it out, and take a moment, find some stillness, breathe as you normally would, get comfortable, and I'm going to read for you The Invitation, which is a poem by a woman named Araya. I will put a link to her website at the bottom of the video. It doesn't interest me what you do for a living. I want to know what you ache for. And if you dare to dream of meeting your heart's longing. It doesn't interest me how old you are. I want to know if you will risk looking like a fool for love, for your dream, for the adventure of being alive. It doesn't interest me what planets are squaring your moon. I want to know if you have touched the center of your own sorrow, if you have been opened by life's betrayals, or have become shriveled and closed from fear of further pain. I want to know if you can sit with pain, mine or your own, without moving to hide it or fade it or fix it. I want to know if you can be with joy, mine or your own, if you can dance with wildness and let the ecstasy fill you to the tips of your fingers and toes without cautioning us to be careful, to be realistic, to remember the limitations of being human. It doesn't interest me if the story you are telling me is true. I want to know if you can disappoint another to be true to yourself. If you can bear the accusation of betrayal and not betray your own soul. If you can be faithless and therefore trustworthy. I want to know if you can see beauty even when it is not pretty every day. And if you can source your own life from its presence. I want to know if you can live with failure, yours and mine, and still stand at the edge of the lake and shout to the silver of the full moon, yes! It doesn't interest me to know where you live or how much money you have. I want to know if you can get up after a night of grief and despair, weary and bruised to the bone, and do what needs to be done to feed the children. It doesn't interest me who you know or how you came to be here. I want to know if you will stand in the center of the fire with me and not shrink back. It doesn't interest me where or what or with whom you have studied. I want to know what sustains you from the inside when all else falls away. I want to know if you can be alone with yourself and if you truly like the company you keep in the empty moment. And everyone, I invite you to take another deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, sigh it away. As always, Woodland Hill staff, it is an honor and a pleasure to teach with all of you, even if we can't all be together today. I wish you well, and I hope to see you soon. Good night.